Welcome to AZ Superbox. In this video, we're excited to present the top 5 best line output converters that will enhance your car audio experience by seamlessly integrating with your factory sound system. Line output converters are crucial for achieving high quality audio when connecting aftermarket amplifiers and other audio components to your car's stock stereo. Please note that the line output converters mentioned in this video are not listed in any specific order. If you're looking to improve your car audio setup and maintain pristine sound quality, you've come to the right place. These line output converters are equipped with advanced features, offering a clean signal transfer and optimal performance for your aftermarket audio components. With their innovative technology and user-friendly design, these converters will not only ensure compatibility with your factory system but also provide the flexibility to connect additional audio equipment. Each line output converter on our list has been chosen based on its quality, functionality, design, and overall customer satisfaction. Whether you need a compact and discrete converter for a straightforward installation or a feature-rich model with advanced adjustments, our top 5 picks cover a range of line output converters to cater to your specific audio needs. Our commitment to excellence ensures that these line output converters will seamlessly integrate into your car audio system providing easy setup and maintaining signal integrity for optimal sound reproduction. For more detailed information about the top 5 best line output converters we discuss, please check the links in the description below this video. You'll find pricing and additional details about each converter. If you seek a more comprehensive analysis and comparison, be sure to visit our website azsuperbox.com. Our website offers in-depth reviews and valuable insights to help you choose the perfect line output converter for your car audio system. So, without further ado, let's explore the world of the top 5 best line output converters and find the ideal one to elevate your car audio experience. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to press that subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more valuable car audio reviews and recommendations. Now, let's get started. Say hello to the DD Audio SC4 and SC6 line output converters. The SC4 and SC6 are built with a double power supply, an FR4 printed circuit board, and a durable aluminum chassis. With features like input summing, signal sense turn on, independent variable gains, and selectable ground isolation, the DD Audio SC4 and SC6 allow you to upgrade your sound without the need of an aftermarket radio and all of the expensive parts to make it work. To learn more about OEM integration, Integration and find a pre-configured system option that meets your needs. Hey everyone, this is Chris Bennett here at Audio Control Headquarters in the Pacific Northwest. Today we're going over the LC2i and why you should be using it to get the most out of your factory stereo system. The LC2i is an active line level converter that allows integration of your factory stereo into an aftermarket amplifier. So why choose the LC2i over traditional non-active LOCs? The LC2i can handle up to 400 watts of input power, making it perfect for all factory upgrades, whether amplified or not. It also acts as a preamp line driver. It helps you deliver up to 9.5 volts of pure clean output signal. Did you know that many of today's cars have built-in equalizers that will begin to limit or roll off deeper frequencies as volume increases? Most line level converters have no electronics to compensate for factory base roll off. The LC2i features Audio Control's patented AccuBase circuit that allows you to restore that bass that is being robbed out of your factory stereo system. You simply adjust the LC2i to where your bass begins to go south, and the AccuBase circuit will restore the bass to ground pounding bass blissfulness. The Audio Control engineers didn't stop there, oh no. More features include our trademark GTO circuit, or great turn on. That means it'll sense when signal enters the unit and the magic begins. It wakes up and provides a 12 volt output trigger to run to your aftermarket amplifier. And guess what? We're still not done. The LC2i has dual outputs. What does that mean to you? It means it is very useful for many different situations. The first outputs will give you a nice, solid, high powered, full range output. The second set of outputs is dedicated for use with bass amplifiers, providing all the signal strength needed to assure you're getting the most boom for your buck. When using the bass outputs on the LC2i, you have the option of adding Audio Control's ACR1 remote level control. Simply plug in the ACR1 and now you have the complete control over your subwoofer and exactly just how much signal you're sending to your bass amplifier. 
Engineered and manufactured here in the Pacific Northwest means that every LC2i that leaves audio control has been tested and is ready to help you get the most out of your system. Many newer factory car stereos are now coming packed with more and more features. And finding compatible dash kits can be difficult. Many factory stereos now come with large touch screens, hands-free Bluetooth, and even in some cases, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. These features are great until you start adding aftermarket amplifiers, speakers, and subwoofers. The NVX XLCA2 allows you to keep your factory car stereo and upgrade the other pieces in your system without having any sort of loss in audio quality or distortion. With typical OEM head units installed, you will hear a noticeable drop off in bass at higher volumes. This is done to protect your factory woofers from being blown. However, this bass roll off will become even more prevalent when using the factory head unit with aftermarket amplifiers and woofers. With the X-Boost technology from the XLCA2, you will be able to put that lost signal back in. That way, you will no longer have to worry about any type of drop-off in bass quality. NVX digital bass enhancers are designed and engineered to reproduce extreme bass output in your vehicle. The NVX XL CA2 is a compact two-channel processor with active input circuitry, which allows it to accept speaker level signals up to 400 watts RMS per channel from the factory head unit or amplifier. It converts them to high quality preamp signals that are then directed to aftermarket processors and amplifiers. Enjoy maximum sound quality while retaining the use of the factory volume and steering wheel controls. Compared to a basic line-out converter, the preamp voltage of the XLCA2 is exponentially higher. This higher preamp output will give you multiple benefits, such as sending a clear, less distorted signal to your amplifier. Also, you will be much less likely to amplify unwanted noise and you can set the gain much lower due to the higher quality signal coming through the RCAs. This line-out converter uses signal sensing turn-on technology. This actually will take the signal coming in, see it, and actually give you a remote output to turn on your amplifier. And it works really well to prevent any turn on and off pops that you may experience with a basic LOC. Start noticing the differences the XLCA2 can make with your vehicle today. What's up everyone, I'm Ken from Kicker, and we're gonna to talk today about some of the Kicker factory integration pieces that we have to offer. We're gonna start all the way over here on my left, your right, and that's gonna be with the KISSL, the K-I-S-L. Now there's no magic going on here, it's just simple speaker wire input to an RCA adapter. So if you wanna run high level into your amplifier or speaker level inputs to that amplifier, which we do recommend with a kicker amplifier, the KISSL, the K-I-S-L, is gonna be the one to use. But if you wanna to run to a low level signal, an RCA level signal, you're gonna need a line output converter. And Kick Kicker offers two of them. We have the KISSLOCK1 and the KISSLOCK2. Now the only difference here is the KISSLOCK2 is gonna give you a 12 volt remote turn on output with no 12 volt input of any kind required. So all you do is simply hook up your speaker wire in and you're gonna get a 12 volt remote turn on output using the DC offset off that factory or aftermarket radio. So it's a very, very cool piece, one of my favorites. But if you're dealing with a problematic factory system, maybe one that has a wild factory EQ curve or factory time correction, all pass filters, anything crazy like that, you're gonna to wanna to step up to a fancier line output converter and that's gonna be the key LOC. Now the key LOC is able to correct for all of that stuff. It's gonna flatten that factory EQ curve out, remove factory time correction, those all pass filters. Even things that you didn't know were there, it's able to correct for you. It gives you a strong baseline that you can then run to whatever aftermarket audio gear you want. So maybe an aftermarket amplifier, aftermarket DSP, whatever it is. It gets you back to a starting point and then you can add in your own factory time correction, your own EQ curve. So a very, very cool piece. Now additionally, the key lock has a 60 ohm dummy load built into it. What the heck is a dummy load and why would I want it? There are certain factory audio systems that are looking for a very specific resistance on their speaker outputs. So if you're installing say a four channel amplifier and you clip those factory speaker leads, the audio system can no longer see that factory speaker and it freaks out. It thinks that maybe the speaker's blown or there's a speaker wire that's shorted. It mutes the output. So that dummy load tricks that factory smart system into seeing the load that it needs so it will continue to output audio for your purposes. So the 60 ohm load is built into the key lock. It's also built into the KISS lock one and two. That 60 ohm value will work for about 80 to 85% of those smart systems that we see on the road today. 
For the remaining percentage, we have this product over here, and that's the KISS Load two-channel and four-channel version. Now, this is not a line output converter. This does not convert from a speaker level input to an RCA. It's just simple speaker wire in, speaker level out. However, it is very high power. So the two-channel version of the KISS load is a 25-ohm load that will work for all those problematic systems. The two-channel one is able to handle 40 volts or 400 watts of input per channel. So if you want to put the KISS load on the output of a high-powered factory amplifier, no problem, it's meant for that. The four-channel version is able to handle 20 volts or 100 watts per channel. Again, if you want to put that on the output of a factory amplifier, not a problem, it's meant for that. 